Why did you gather us? I thought it was over. And creme brulee cookie is here too? We asked you all to come because it is time to find out who was truly behind the old Jolly incident. Creme brulee cookie wasn't the culprit? No, because it was you. Royal Bear Jelly. Me? Is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> The Royal Bear Jelly was in the electrical room. Or so our conductor wanted you to believe. Take a look at this. This remote control allowed Royal Bear Jelly to program the illumination and leave the post. The conductor's alibi is null and void. Still, that thing alone is not proof it was Royal Bear Jelly who hurt Old Jolly, is it? I admit at first glance, the motive seems rather unclear. And that is what I assumed as well. And yet, the flame of suspicion starts with but a little spark. about the fact that creme brulee cookie and I swapped our sweets because we didn't tell a soul. Nevertheless, in the morning, Royal Bear Jelly went straight to creme brulee cookie's new suite as if knowing he would be there. I thought, could it be that the conductor secretly visited our rooms while creme brulee cookie and I were elsewhere? If so, why? And then I realized one thing. Script for Linzer Cookie's upcoming novel. Of course, Royal Bear Jelly mentioned being a fan. Indeed, that is the first thing that comes to mind. It was my initial guess as well. However, inside the envelope was. His sheet music! It, the envelopes looked exactly the same! Correct! Royal Bear Jelly tried to steal the manuscript, but ended up stealing the sheet music! Because our sweets had been already swapped. That is how the sheet music disappeared. That is what triggered the following chain of events. Manuscript. They must have swapped the rooms. I... I must put these back before anyone notices. I'm telling you, chum. I did it. Don't they know it? I would an old sugar don't steal from me. Then why did you go near my suite? I... I... I was lost. Lost? 
In a hallway straight and narrow as this, I find that very hard to believe. Oh no! Creme brulee cookie noticed the disappearance! Now the only way to put the sheet music back is to sneak out during the ceremony! Oh, thank heavens for the remote! To my quarters! Old Jolly, are you there? I just want to check one last time. Can we talk? No reply. Wait a second. <sighs> he almost saw me. But I must get the sheet music from my quarters first. There it is. Now all that's left to do is to put it back. Boop de ho! My dearest conductor! What's that in your hand, pal? Oh, Jolly! What are you doing here? Don't be po! I came to deliver the gift! But those sheets! You had them all this time? Oh, what I had to endure because of them! Uh, I didn't mean to! You stole it! I only tried to put creme brulee cookie's gift in his room, but became the scape gnome instead! Because of you! Tisk, tisk, tisk. I must tell Creme Brulee Cookie the truth and clear my good name. What did your parents teach you about stealing? Unbelievable! The conductor at that! Do be do. No! Stop! No! You're not going anywhere! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jolly! Oh, Jolly! Oh, the gnome won't wake up! What have I done? No, no, no. This won't do. No one must know. I should move the body. This is what happened. Old Jolly was inside the room service cart. Royal Bear Jelly moved the sugar gnome's body and returned to the kitchen with the empty cart. And that's when Royal Bear Jelly placed the sheet music back in my room. Yes, the conductor paid your room a visit while you were in the banquet car. And yet, Royal Bear Jelly didn't know how to read sheet music and placed it in the wrong order. The conductor left no jam marks, because the incident happened elsewhere. Lies! Lies! Oh, lies! Linda Cookie, I may be your fan, but this is, this is preposterous. It makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, but where is the proof? The proof that Royal Bear Jelly is the culprit. Excellent question. The proof is right here. Old Jolly's candy cane? What looks like Old Jolly's candy cane is, in fact, a simple ornament from the holiday tree. If you look closely, you will notice it's brand new. To hide this fact, Royal Bear Jelly increased the temperature in Old Jolly's sweet and melted the ice cream cake that was inside. The candy cane was soundly caked in the liquid. It also happened to seem as if it was Old Jolly's strawberry jam. Brilliant idea, if you think of it. Crumbs, that's right! Sugar notes don't jam! The conductor bamboozled us all! But why did Royal Bear Jelly swap the canes? 
Yeah, where is the real candy cane? That, my friend, is where things get interesting. You see, the real candy cane happened to cause some trouble. Such trouble. It was absolutely necessary to conceal it. Teapot from the morning? An enclosed space, such as our Holiday Express, poses great difficulties for the culprit. If you throw an object out the window, someone will notice. If you try to hide it, someone might stumble upon it. Holy macaroni! The conductor dissolved the candy cane in the tea! Precisely. Only our culprit made a critical mistake by leaving the teapot in the dining car we requisitioned earlier. It turned out the tea was insufficient to fully dissolve the fragments. But why was it necessary to dissolve the candy cane? Why did Royal Bear Jelly have to get rid of it all of a sudden? Like Detective Cheddar Cheese mentioned, this is where things get interesting. of their physical altercation with Royal Bear Jelly, Old Jolly happened to pluck the conductor's mustache. Remember Royal Bear Jelly's so-called holiday style from earlier? The hairs must have gotten stuck to the candy cane. It was super sticky after all. The conductor had absolutely no time to pick the hairs one by one. I doubt it was possible at all. Now hold on. If Old Jolly's candy cane was in the tea, this means... Royal Bear Jelly's mustache was also in it? I drank two cups of Bear Jelly Moustache! This is nonsense! The, the conductor goes to the kitchen hourly! To and through, to and through! My, my, my mustache could stick to anything! And how, how do you know this, this is old Johnny's can? We run out of sugar. I, I used a, 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 another ornament from the tree to sweeten it. Of course, my friend, anything is possible. But this is where the criminalists come in. A quick analysis will reveal to whom the candy cane really belongs. Yes, detective. I shall personally see that this candy cane is delivered to the lab as soon as we arrive at the station. <laughs> oh no, I'm... I'm... 
The culprit is on the run! Let me help! No need. We have a specialist right here. hi -ya! Going somewhere? Hmm? <laughs> Alright! Fine! I did it! I didn't mean to, but I did it! I just... I just wanted to read the novel! <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt the sugar gnome! I, I panicked, and I thought I'd perfectly covered my tracks. That's where you are mistaken, Conductor. There is no perfection when it comes to crime. Only cold, hard truth waiting to be unveiled. And this is the reason why I write my novels. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, old Jolly. What have I done? I'm alive! <gasps> old Jolly? Oh no, did I crumble too? Am I in heaven? Possibly. We sugar gnomes are hardy and resilient. <laughs> a blow with a candy cane? I can handle that. Nope, nope. But it did knock me out. And for longer than I would like to admit, this holiday fatigue seems to be getting to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, I'm so happy you're alive and well, my friend. Uh, but please, do something about that strawberry jam. Oh. Goodness! <laughs> oh, I will turn myself in as soon as we reach our destination. <laughs> well done, Macaroni Cookie. Another case solved. Is it just me, or does crime follow wherever we go? Welcome to the Cookie Kingdom, mm-hmm. Are you ready for Merry Holiday Festivities? At last, it was a long journey. Linzer Cookie! Creme Brulee Cookie! I wanted to thank you for all that you've done. My good name is cleared thanks to you. I only did what I thought was right. I knew you would say that. Then how about Happy Holidays? I like it better. It's been a while since we met during the holidays, isn't it? Remember? You wouldn't find time for me because of your endless practice sessions back then, too? Oh. Wasn't it you who would talk ceaselessly about crime and jam after the success of your debut novel? Oh, come on, you liked it! Huh. Yes, I did. Say... Will you come to see the concert tomorrow? I've been practicing quite a lot, you see. Very well. I think I might be able to find some time. It just so happens that I finished my manuscript last night. You wrote? While all those things were happening? Of course! There's no better time! I used to only write about cookies before. But this time, other desserts will appear too. This little fact might or might not be crucial to the plot. Hmm, sounds intriguing. I only hope the culprit is not the pianist. <laughs> you will find out soon enough. Yeah. Oh look, it's snowing. Happy holidays, creme brulee cookie. Happy Holidays, Linzer Cookie. Bye. <laughs> 
Thank you.